What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today I got some pretty exciting things to share with you guys. So me and my business partners are actually planning on moving into this entrepreneur house. Uh, basically our idea and strategy behind it is, you know, pretty much collaborating with other entrepreneurs that are in different industries than we are and kind of just like, you know, balance our skills you know, off of each other. So we're gonna have a few different business partners that we're gonna be moving in with. I'll also let you guys know, you know, kind of what the status is of it. We do have some other houses that we have in mind, but this one hands down is one of the best options. So we're hoping we can really get this one, so. So this is the house right here. It's six beds, seven bath. It's of almost 6,000 square feet. So that's actually the house right there. It did look, you know, honestly pretty similar to how it looked in the picture. So that was, that was a plus. Basically when, you know, when you're doing when you're shopping, when you want to get either a new car or a new house, you always shouldn't just go with like one option, right? Because then you never know about different things, like what's available for the same kind of pricing. You, get, you don't know if you're getting the best deal right off the jump. You know, we had a lot of things we were looking out for. We wanted a house that obviously had a pool. So some of the ones that, you know, were pretty good looking didn't have a pool. So we had to rule those out. We wanted ones that had more than four bedrooms because there's going to be a few of us living in the house. So some of them, you know, they only had four bedrooms. We were looking for like four and above. So for the price point that we were looking for, like it didn't make too much sense. So basically you definitely want to have options when it comes down to, you know, getting anything brand new. So right now we're actually in the middle of negotiating for the first house. Obviously that's like a crazy house. Like we're honestly super pumped for it. But of course, you know, it's important to know about sales and marketing and persuasion and all those things for multiple re different reasons. Of course, when it comes time to negotiate for like things like this, like when you're, you know, getting into a house, you're getting into a car, whatever the case may be, it's important to know, you know, sales and persuasion. That way you can get the best possible deals, you know, for the place. But we both went in there with that, with the strategy of, you know, not seeming too excited about the place. Just like looking at it and being like, all right, looking at some things and saying, oh, like, can we, can we fix this? Can this be done? And things like that. And giving constructive criticism about the house and things that we would like to be changed. And the reason why we did that is because what happens is if you go into pretty much buy anything and you seem overly excited for whatever the case may be, then they're not going to have a problem with charging you with the price that they have set or even charging you more and not trying to negotiate. And the reason they do that is because they know that you want it. Usually nobody that lists a price on whatever it is that they're selling is like their final price. There's always, always, always room for negotiation. Always remember that. There's always room for negotiation. Nobody ever lists their final price. We knew that off the jump, so that was our strategy kind of going in there. So you can do that. I'm gonna be giving them a call, letting them know like, hey, uh, we are interested in the house, but we really wanted to see, we have a few other houses that we're working with as well. And they're about the same, they're actually in a much better location. They're in Los Angeles here, a lot close to where we are and we're basically trying to get it down to you know reduce the rent and we have a few other options they've already brought down the rent for us and they'd agreed to us to you know bring down the rent for this much can you guys do the same if you guys can do the same we'll be ready to you know sign and move into the place as soon as we can and that's exactly what i'm planning to say later on today but obviously it's important to know about sales and marketing because if we would have gone there super excited about the place, like, oh my God, I can't believe it. This is like real, like this place is huge and all that stuff. And we wouldn't have acted how we acted. We wouldn't be able to negotiate because they know we already love the place and there would be absolutely no way they would adjust any type of pricing for us. Us negotiating on a house like this, it's gonna definitely save us a few thousand you know, throughout the time we're going to be in the place. So it's like, of course, it's worth negotiating. Again, you won't be able to do this in every single situation, but it's important that you're able to, you learn about different sales and persuasion techniques. That way, like, you can do things like this. So one of the things you guys want to do whenever it comes down to either getting a house or a car, you want to do some background research. And the reason why you want to do that is because that also lets you figure out if you can negotiate or not, if there's any room for negotiation. So for this house, I already know that it's been up on the marketplace for three months. So they've already missed out on three months rent. They don't want to miss out any more time. So they're much better off giving us a discount on the monthly rent and having somebody move in there as soon as possible than take a hit on a whole entire month's rent. So uh, just some food for thought. You want to make sure you do some background research. So I'm not going to obviously try to negotiate everything down to the T. Like if they do it, okay. If not, like 
cool i'm still down for we're still down for the house anyway so we'll keep you guys updated on as far as when we're going to be moving in and all that great stuff and how the whole process goes you guys are going to like this place i figured i'd take some time to kind of just record it and kind of share this experience with you guys because it's going to be my first time actually living in a house of course you guys know that me i grew up you know with a really you know, with a single mom i didn't grow up with like a rich up-and-coming family or anything like that so for me being able to move into a house obviously it's like super crazy so i figured i want to take the time to kind of share that with you guys so if you guys would want to see more videos of different life experiences that i'm going through different decisions that i'm making things like that make sure you drop a like on this video of course if you have any questions about sales or pretty much anything i went over make sure you drop it in the comments below and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the vfam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace